Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to import media into Premiere Pro. I'm using an example from a short promo project, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam in Premiere Pro. I like to go to the assembly workspace. Now remember, you can come up here and click on these different tabs to go to the different workspaces. And the assembly workspace takes my project panel and makes it really big. So let's go back to simple edit it shows so I can show you see how small that is right now and I could certainly import my media here and, th and that would be fine I just want to go to assembly so it's a little bit bigger and you can see what I'm doing over here easier so there's lots of different ways to import media you can come up here to the file menu and choose import the keyboard shortcut is control on a PC or command on a Mac and I for import uh, you can see right here it says import media to start and if you double click in this area it'll bring up that import dialog box and then we just need to navigate to the files I want to show you a couple different ways so first of all let's go in here to our video folder we're going to double click on it and find all of our video clips and you can select all of them by clicking and dragging across them control or command on a Mac and a selects all so that's another way of doing it. And let's go ahead and once we've got them all selected, let's go and hit the open button and you'll see it imports them or brings them into Premiere Pro. So import is the process of bringing your video clips in. By default, they're all selected. So I'm gonna click off just so that I can show you that they're not selected now. And when they are selected, they're gray. Right now I'm in thumbnail view and you probably are as well. To change between thumbnail and list view, you click on this little icon down here in the lower left hand corner of the project panel. So sometimes I like to be in list view and sometimes I like to be in thumbnail view. So that's one way to import your video or your media, I should say, because we're going to be importing um, all of the stuff that we want to bring in. Another way to do it is to bring, bring them in in a bin or a folder. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's double click here in this area and go back up one directory. So I just clicked on this tab up here and um, you may end up having other options. You may have arrows here that would let you go up a directory. So that's another option. Let's this time, let's select the photos folder, the whole folder, just click once on it. So it's selected an import folder. And you'll see that it automatically puts all three of those photos into a bin. Now, earlier I was talking about in preferences, what happens when you double click on one of these bins. So let's try that out. If you've set it so that it opens in place, when you double click on it, it'll open right here in the same panel. And then to get back out or back up to the root directory, you click on this little arrow in the upper left hand corner of the project panel. So if you, hold control or command on a Mac and double click on it. Now you'll see it opens in a new tab. So here's another tab. And I think once you get too many tabs, it can be really confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and close that panel or tab down, come back here. And then if I hold alt or on a Mac, that would be option and double click on it. You can see it opens in a brand new window. And that can work really well if you have multiple monitors, then you could slide that over the other monitor. But if you're on a single monitor, I think this can get a little confusing with a bunch of floating windows around. So that's why I prefer open in place. That's one way. Another way to bring in any media is to drag and drop. So let me show you. Here's my folder and here's the video. Here's the photos and there's the audio file. So I'm going to drag this audio folder and drop it right here on my project panel. And that's another way of importing it into Premiere Pro. So you can see now I have my folder full of photos, my folder full of audio and all my video clips. And later we're going to move those video clips into a bin. But for now, that's how you import your media. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.